In today's video, we're answering the question, do you need bile salts after you've had your gallbladder surgery? So maybe you've had gallbladder surgery recently and you're searching around the internet. I was searching around the internet. Oh my gosh. Or maybe you're considering gallbladder surgery. You've probably come across a number of videos that seem to suggest that you need to take some kind of oral bile salts after you've had your gallbladder removed. You might even be wondering, why didn't my surgeon mention this? Well, the TLDR on this video is that no, your surgeon did not forget to tell you about bile salts, and you probably shouldn't be taking them after your gallbladder surgery either. In preparation for this video, I decided to check out what other content had been created on this subject. Needless to say, I found a lot of content out there, much of it from much larger creators than me. But the majority was complete nonsense. Now, I'm not gonna call those creators out. I'm not here to create an internet beef, but if you are a fan of those creators, feel free to come at me in the comments. I'm here to educate you not to be popular. But my job is not to be popular. My job, although it helps. Sometimes surgeons get accused of saying the gallbladder isn't important. Well, it is true that for many people who have diseases of the gallbladder, they are much better off having it removed than leaving it in. For a normal functioning gallbladder in the normal person, it's certainly better to keep the gallbladder in place. That's why it's really important that if you're considering having your gallbladder removed, you make sure that you have a disease of your gallbladder and surgery is actually necessary. And the most important sign that your gallbladder is unhealthy is that it's making gallstones. Let's try to understand this a bit further. The gallbladder is an organ that sits under the liver. It is attached to the liver through bile ducts and the bile duct that connects the gallbladder to the liver is called the cystic duct. The liver makes bile at more or less a constant rate and there's no production of bile in the gallbladder itself. Bile is a really important organ in digestion. It helps break down fats and makes them easier to be absorbed. But bile is also an excretory product of the liver's metabolism and releasing bile at a steady state is a normal life-sustaining process. Since the bile is produced by the liver at a constant rate, the gallbladder comes in and helps store the bile so it can be released in time with meals. With meals, the gallbladder will contract and release its bile. If the gallbladder itself is healthy, it will empty with these meals and no stones will form. However, if the gallbladder itself isn't doing its job and it's not contracting properly, then it will fail to empty properly and stones will begin to form. It is actually the gallbladder's lack of function itself that is responsible for gallstone formation. Over time, as the gallstones grow, there's less and less room in the gallbladder for bile to be stored. And the gallbladder itself can't contract against the stones that are in the gallbladder. This creates a vicious loop where more and more stones begin to form in the gallbladder, making it more and more ineffective. And after a while, the gallbladder becomes completely ineffective and the body will adapt to the fact that no bile is being released from the gallbladder with meals. And it's this adaptation to constant bile flow in the setting of gallstones that is the reason why most patients who have their gallbladder removed for gallstone disease have no diarrhea or any problems after the gallbladder has been removed. Now, occasionally there are other reasons other than gallstones to have your gallbladder removed, but those are rare. And in those patients, the chances of having diarrhea or abdominal pain or other post-cholecystectomy symptoms is a bit more common. But the good news is even in those patients, the body adapts to this constant steady state of bile flow. So let's go back to the issue of this video, which is do you need bile salts after your gallbladder has been removed? I've told you that normally functioning gallbladder has an impact on how and when the bile flows into the intestine. So I understand how other creators' arguments about bile salts can be useful on the surface, but this really fails to understand the body's ability to adapt when the gallbladder has been removed. And also fails to understand that bile is being produced constantly by the liver as a normal metabolic function. But more importantly, it fails to understand the evidence. There are multiple studies that have looked at the bile flow and bile metabolism after the gallbladder has been removed. And study after study has demonstrated that there is no impact on bile metabolism after cholecystectomy. Yes, science! Now I think it's really important that those who watch this channel have an opportunity to study the evidence on their own. So I'm gonna link several of these studies in the show notes below so you can read it for yourself. 
At the end of the day, the decision to have your gallbladder removed is an important one and should be made between you and your surgeon. Make sure you understand the reasons why the recommendation has been made to have gallbladder surgery. If you do decide to have your gallbladder removed for gallstone disease, then you can confidently know that you don't need any bile supplementation after your gallbladder surgery. My name is Dr. Rich Hilsen and you're watching my channel, Knife Skills. Thank you for joining me on this journey. If you're interested in learning a bit more about gallbladder surgery, click on this link below and I'll join you over there. Until next time, have a great day.